Oh, are we are we recorded? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're recorded. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do it. What's yeah. going on, everybody? Falcon and Tails back with the first ever video for the Voltaholics content YouTube. Yeah, this is thing. exciting, isn't it? It is. How are you, Mr. Falcon, today? I'm good. I'm gonna keep my guns tucked in. Tucked in. Um, they haven't got two tickets for this show, mate. They're they're almost too big, you know. It, I don't want to show off. I oh, know. Oh, we don't want to make traps feel inadequate, do we? Exactly. He, exactly. he might dump us. So, yeah. you know, yeah. don't want him to feel threatened. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. uh, need, need to... go on, no, you go. You go, mate. You what go. are we doing? What is this? We're doing a breakdown, apparently, of our vaults. Oh. Two. Two each. That's Two each. Good idea. Yeah, we thought instead of talking on spaces, going, so what you do is you get the lines and you do this and you do that. We thought we'll, we'll show you. We'll show you on the tube of you. Oh, it's good. It's good to show people things. Hopefully, Hopefully they'll enjoy what we have to show. Hopefully. Or we just get a load of those. Yeah, thumbs down. I'll turn the dislikes off so it's fine. We'll Clever. never know. Not just a hat rack. No, no, that's right. Um, so, yeah, we're going to talk through a couple of our of our vault vids um i think if we post them we'll post them under the what's it called in youtube the comments, comments. the the yeah we'll put them there so if you want to watch them beforehand because i think we're going to pause quite a lot aren't we yeah we're basically we're doing, in the flow that's it we're doing the reactions oh yeah like, oh, like, oh, like, oh. <laughs> yeah you will never see that from us by the way you will never have those thumbnails uh youtube community you'll be pleased to know no, we keep a very straight face. Yes. Yeah, real professional. All right, should we dig in then? Yeah, let's not mess about. We uh, Yeah, we won't introduce ourselves. We'll just go. Nah, just Tails, go Malcolm, you know Boom. what it is. Right. So first of all, I'm going to show one of your ones. So we are starting with your Hello VV part two of three. When did you post this? This was. I mean, we can probably guess. Yes, it was back in September, just at the end of September, uh, just after I had purchased my Eduardo Rizzo and changed oh, my yeah. name from Tales and Crypto from to Tales from the Rizzo. So, all right, well, so, someone's pretty pleased with themselves, but you know, that's just fine. A little, just a little. Okay. I'll allow it. Well, you should be. Um, cool. Right, let's di let's dig in. Let's see what's going on. Even this shot, look, hasn't even started. It's beautiful. 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 I did record, have to record this about 10 times as well. I'm not surprised. Well, yeah. this, you know, this, I do want to get into it, but I think this opening shot just shows the scale of what we're about to see. You can see the vault in the background and already that Batman, well, he's looking up as well. He's looking up, mate. You're, you're pretty smart. What's <laughs> going to be above him? Let's, see. Let's find out. Oh, I'm going back a bit. Right. <gasps> Like I'm pausing already. Okay. Because already when I watched this, I was hooked because of that song, because of the soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Um, it's the it's the saw theme, right? It is. So we know what it we're is. getting into. We do. And shout out to Get Richie, who there I think there was around a time where I, I was asking people for like, you know, if you come across any cinematic, dark, whatever. And he sent me yeah. a few bits. So I was like, nah, that's not really it. And he went, I've got it. He sent me this, and I was like, "Perfect." Is is it the actual Saw soundtrack, or is it a remix? <clears throat> Excuse me. There's loads of different ones. Um, yeah, there's loads of different ones. So that are very similar. So I think I can. I'll find out the track name and put it in the comments. Oh, that's very cool. cool. Well, yeah, there are about thirty Saw films. So yeah. <laughs> right. Let's let's go. Yeah. Right, I'm stopping. So okay. already, as I said about scale, this is huge. It's massive. You got Batman looking up at Batman, and above him is an enormous Spider-Man. That's crazy. Wow. Where did you start with this? Um, I actually start started with I always start with the main set piece that we're gonna pan round to. Okay. Um, and then just everything kind of flows from there. I never really have a plan, it just yeah, as long as I get the main thing yes. looking mean, then um, I'll just build from there. I, like this is, I think this was shortly after 
they VV released the Starship Enterprise and the Borg. Yeah. And ever since then, I'm like, well, that's just a perfect ceiling because yeah. coasters can be quite hard to move around and get uh, spirit level. They can. So, yeah. And, and you know what's weird? Whenever you do stuff outside of the vault, it's it's hard to get the scale, if that makes sense. Because if you go out and you're like, right, I'm quite far away, right, make this poster massive. And yeah. When you're making it, making things bigger and bigger, unless you've got something to reference it to, yeah. you're like, it's not even growing. And then you turn around and then the vault's like that big. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, guess, yeah, you have the vault itself as a reference yeah. point, but that's kind yeah. of it, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. So this this came out quite um, more claustrophobic than normal, but I really liked it. I think this is my favourite ever. I feel like out on a whim. It is awesome, man. And also, do, do you have a uh, a background in some kind of graphical design by chance? Uh, I do not. My okay. dad is uh sculptor he used to be an architect my brother's an architect all oh, right my mum was an artist my sister draws i used to draw so we're all creative fam man's got um, graphics in the blood yeah 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 so i was like a duck to water mate when i found vivi oh, man i'm just like looking at this shot um it's it's great and i i love your use of color just in that kind of middle strip right now just uh mm. it makes everything pop it's yeah it does it does awesome man right let's keep going now this is why i think your style is so awesome because you've you use this well tell us what do you use it's sort of a distorting yeah okay. yeah so because of my background in music and stuff like that um uh you know i always love big build-ups and stuff like that so if you just because you can't through the build-up you're still going to see the main set piece right yes so i don't want the the big reveal to be revealed before the drop of of, of the tune so yeah. um i use splice and it's just it's just a lens effect yeah um, so it makes it spread out and what you can do is like you know on every 16 bars or eight bars of the tune, I just keep on adding a duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. So it just keeps on and then you can't see it. And then when okay. the tune drops, crescendo, reveal. That's it. Cause it's, uh, it's, it, uh, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it delays, there you go. It delays the reveal um, exactly. in a very clever way. Yeah, and then I've, I think it was on this video the first time I kind of done it. I was because I was messing around with different filters and stuff, and still learning my way and on editing. But um, there's like a what's it called, like a noir filter, so everything yeah. just black, and then that, that obviously adds to it when the color comes back in and stuff like that. Well, let's see the reveal. Let's do it. I like how you did too. It's like that uh, uh, John Claude Van Damme kick replay kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just reload. Yeah, and that 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 bit. So when obviously again, like you'll find with all my videos, I try and do you know stuff to the beat of the music, and with that, duh, 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 I had to like, especially when you do it on your phone, it's like little minuscule bits that I've got. Uh, I, it, it's 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 hard. It's yeah hard. and actually i'm kind of annoyed because i kind of cheated and missed one out so there's like four da, 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 but right. i need three but you can't really notice it i, but, I don't um, think you notice but yeah um and but before we we move on yeah yeah let's not move on just yet. <laughs> what so are we looking at here we are looking at the bill and ted bogus journey poster yeah. which is probably my favorite bit to use. I've absolutely rinsed it to death, but you can get creative with it. Very cool. It's uh, half of Eduardo Rizzo Batman, mm -hmm. which is his right half. Um, it is the Darwin Cook cape. Yeah. Um, the Jim Lee Joker hand. Yeah. Uh, the back of a dragon girl. Uh, yeah, the back of a dragon girl, the actual dragon. Yeah. And that 
I, and do, do you know what's weird about, well, not weird about this, but when I was creating this, that's the Dick Sprang Joker's eye. Right. And that, for me, made this piece. As soon as I did that, I went, okay. like, it's like he's staring into your soul. And, uh, you know, he doesn't it want is, to, man. to be it's, That in. really brings it all together, that mm. eye. Um, it's very cool. That is, yeah, it's terrifying. It's really, <laughs> yeah, that's really what I try to do. Awesome. Just pause here on that very phallic uh, piece there. Yeah. <laughs> Riding <laughs> the, uh, the penguin's umbrella, is that right? Penguins umbrella. Well, two umbrellas. One yeah. of the penguins and the other is deaths. Ah, cool. But I, I really like how you, you throw a little bit of humor in here. It's not yes. all dark. It's yeah. a bit of fun as well. Got, got Finn going, why? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know whether um, that's the sound he makes, but I, I, I mean, mean in, I in this so. video, I'd say Finn gets away relatively unscathed. That's he not does. always the case, is it? No, poor Finn. He's probably the most abused collectible in, in VV, isn't he? Oh, poor Finn. <laughs> Finn's great. Let's 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 speak about Finn for a moment because we've spoken about this before. Yeah, he he's so great because, like here, he looks like I don't know. He looks like he's having a good time. Yeah, he looks like he's having a good time. But if you put him in a scary oh. situation, he looks like he's absolutely, you know. Yeah, or like a hand him. through his stomach or that sort of, that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, and then we he's got, just the got old... a great expression, hasn't he? Because most of the characters, I guess, because they're the characters you don't necessarily get that much expression on their face mm. um i think um the back the first bat girl with her phone is really great because she's so happy yes um, yeah yeah finn's another one where he's just really he's really jazzed yeah yeah and you're right about bat girl like um it's funny sometimes i'll send these vaults to my friends and they'll be like it's really dark but i don't know about the bat girl there i'm like no nah, she's, she's just there taking the piss yeah. You know, she's like, I don't care how scary this is. I'm taking a selfie. That's right. And, yeah, it adds a nice little bit of, uh, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? When a scary movie gets a little bit of co comedic effect and you're like, oh, yeah. it's going to be all right. That's right. It just it gives us a bit of a break and then we're back into horrible stuff. Yeah. Right? Now, I'll be honest, at this point, I was quite lost. Right. Quite know where we were. But then you come back round and we see that you've prized the vault between two DeLoreans. Which is yeah. Awesome. And, and this was such a fluke, right? So around this time, I think I was planning on doing some stuff in the vault, coming out and then doing a whole round it. And DeLoreans work really well for floors and ceilings. Yes. Um, especially floors, because as you probably noticed with some posters, even if you get them completely flushed, they'll just block you. Yeah. But with the DeLoreans, you can walk through them. So even though you've got like the two tires entering um, like the entrance of the vault, you can walk through them. Yeah. And yeah. And and so when I came, I didn't even like go, oh, I'm going to have a DeLorean on top and bottom. And it's going to look am amazing. I'm not saying it looks amazing. It does. But it looks pretty cool. It so when, when I came out, I was like, amazing. And then obviously that helped for, um, it gives like a platform for just outside the vault, which we've got. Well, yeah, like Jay Lee and the uh, Assassin and Protector. Yeah, Just... we've got them too. And you've packed this with so much stuff. You, there's mm. lots of it that you know you need a three or four viewings, I think, to to capture yeah. to catch it all. It's amazing. Right, we're going to put it in the comments, guys. So yeah, watch it three or four times at least, <laughs> and then yeah, and now you do this. <laughs> And yeah, just stopping very briefly, there's the back girl, and you've also got the purple. That's a DeLorean poster in the background, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And I can't remember what I, I, I think Great that color. might have, I can't remember when I put that in. Um, I just knew I wanted, you know, instead of just having the vault sky in the background, you know, you put something up. And I think this is just around the time we were constantly using the. So a lot of the stuff, even though it's like, you know, a master plan, it's normally a fluke yeah <laughs> normally a flu but yeah you're right the, the colors of the uh of the bat girls um yeah works, and have you put well. a 
have you put a grade on this? Is this what's the so <clears throat> yeah, so on on the going through the, the vault just and sped it up just because that's a bit of filler. Yeah. Um just sped up and the and the again the noir gradient uh filter right. and then normally so I think this is like a contrast filter that I use is my is my default filter. Okay. Right. So it gives it a little bit of a darker effect, but it's not not too much. And ever since then, I can't. Yeah. Whenever I'm like doing a video or, or recorded it, I'm like, yeah, I just don't like the normal colors. Yeah, so that's much it. Anymore. That's thing. Yeah. That's cool. It works. I remember when I dropped. To that. <laughs> I remember when I dropped this um, traps when I love Ultraman Rooster. That's my favourite part. Um, so yeah, obviously I just had the wall as as the Borg, and yeah. that's you know the bit where you kind of got the port portal or whatever. Right. I was like, how how can I fill that? And I just went, stay puff stomach. Yes. And then um, yeah. and as everybody knows, I'm I like to do my whole whole merging thing. Yeah, and so I was, I, yeah, just playing around. I went, yeah, Ultraman, he'll do, he'll do. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. just completely unexpected after everything else we've seen as well. <laughs> yeah. Not expect to see that, and that's what makes it so great. It's really, yeah, cool. I love him. So now this character, yeah, I, I was I was pleased with this. So what is this? This is um, Cosmic Cthulhu. Yeah, the green one. I apologise, Kripkins fans. I don't know the name of it. Um, and sorry, is it Jade? Is it oh no, that Jade's the yeah. So obviously you've got I don't know why I'm pointing like you can see it. Um, oh, yeah. So the Kripkins, you've got the Cosmic Cthulhu, and then the green ones, these eyes within the eyes, and yeah, then the Jade. And are they, are they called Cthulhus as well? I don't know. I'm I'm gonna say yes. Yeah, we'll go with yeah. Sure, be told if they're not. Yeah, and then um, the on the back of the you know the ne Necronomicon. <laughs> Shout out yeah. to John. The, the ne Necronomicon. Um, and what I really again going back to the filters, there's a filter called Bright. Right. And you kind of noticed it on when we did the big reveal and then the tune drops. Yeah. When you put that on, it brings out the reds and oranges so much. And it's yeah. just like, oh, I can see everything. And so that works really well. Really um, cool. Almost just, yeah, like little flashes to the beat of the tune. It's awesome. Yeah. Man. And the, is the, can you see my cursor? Yeah. What's, is there something right in the middle of his head? It, the, yeah, but that's literally a bit of uh, Jade's face thing so you've got to okay. think where you, they, you've got the the tentacles so to yeah speak. yeah it works really well because it looks like a kind of skeletal nose type yeah thing. and this is uh, at the time i was going uh ham on the merges and yeah this right. went really well like sometimes things you just do it and it just works you're like yeah Brilliant. let's go yeah that's it this that's an accidental uh treat isn't it yes yeah very cool i like that Sorry, what were you saying? Sorry, you can't hear me over that racket. All right. Um, and then, yeah, we probably didn't see it on the first go, but I even put Jim Lee Joker's eye, well, just his face underneath. It lo almost looked like his belt. Yeah. And that was just a little little Easter egg for anybody that could spot it. Um, it. Yeah, so can you see him just above the belt? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So Jim Lee. So we, there's two Jim Lee's. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that makes it even more disturbing. There we go. That's the yes. name of the game. Jim Lee's <laughs> Joker tucked in his pants. Yes. Hmm. There's no okay. metaphor there. No well, new windows. Just let's move on. Um, and then, <laughs> yeah. That's quite weird. Quite weird. Awesome.
So there we go. And what's an slightly annoying is because you only get two minutes twenty on Twitter for videos, as you know. It's yeah. um yeah, so I had to like record that as a separate bit. Um I won't ask you to go back, but what I really liked, and this was a complete accident, yeah, Luke, is where the beat went. I'm not gonna try and do an impression of it, but the smoke from the ghost trap literally yeah. moved to that in sync, and I was like, oh, obviously did that on purpose. Never. Obviously did it on purpose. Yeah. yeah, there we go. That's amazing, man. It's so cool. I love it. And Thank you. um how when you shoot that, do you do you move at a sort of consistent speed throughout and then you speed up certain parts and slow down exactly. certain parts? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that was a godsend. So I remember before I found that it was I was like I, I used to press screen record on like press play on Spotify. Yeah. Screen record and I'm like, it's getting to the thing. Hurry up. Yeah. <laughs> Get there quicker um yeah it's that's impossible i'm glad i found that yeah. that little editing trick wicked i love it it's so cool and um it yeah it was it was very very suitable for halloween yeah. and it's, it's a beautiful piece of art oh thank you thank you thank you it really is <laughs> well um yeah maybe we we could just wrap up there or i suppose <laughs> some of my efforts no we'll, we'll look at a few of yours since you're doing <laughs> okay. this video you don't have to no nah, mind yeah. Okay, so this was a, we'll call it a short horror inspired film yeah. that I made. Right. Let's go. Let's see. So I remember when you sent me this. Yeah. And this was the week or two weeks before Halloween. You're like, I'm working on a, on a, on a little horror thing. Yeah. And obviously, for some reason, shout out to Athena. I'm known as, as the king of horrors. Well, I don't really believe yeah. it. But within a second, I think I like, you know, I nearly deleted the app, mate. Like, this <laughs> is... Like, the Batman Who Laughs is just so great. Like, he's, he's awesome. definitely one of my favourite collectibles. Like, definitely, definitely top five or ten. Yeah. Because um, you can do so much, especially with his claw. Uh, obviously, the smile. But just... <laughs> and you just pick the perfect thing to... For him to kill dad bob batman the most the most memeable collectible in vv he's like he's a bit like finn like he can he is but although he has no expression it it gives him an expression it's his expressionlessness is an expression yeah so yeah he he was the first choice for this face of a like you know it tells a million million words like that, that. yeah and, yeah yeah and then as soon as i see because obviously your first two frames are to him to dad board back to him back to dad board then you've got the propeller yeah. so do you want to let well well yeah. should we if i try and pause it a propeller then <laughs> there we go <laughs> <That> <laughs> is, <man>. um <laughs> now how did this idea come about did you did you already have this idea yeah i mean i guess because of my life situation i suppose with two young children i, I can't i have to limit my time to a degree um, i was about so, to say because of your time with your children did you have this envision of putting yeah your so not only did they inspire it but <laughs> um i i tend to have an idea before i get started on something so i i generally don't go in and play around i i i get an idea and then i'll make it um, right you know just because it yeah. takes less time that way i suppose i mean it means that i'm thinking about this while i should be uh paying them attention <laughs> rather than looking at my phone is that better <laughs> i don't know Fine. um so yeah it was i think th this was someone used the um propeller thing as a they put it in the vault door yeah i think it was uh, a comey homies yeah um, and, yeah, yeah. and it looked really cool as a fan Amazing. kind of thing. Amazing. And I thought, yeah. oh, yeah, maybe Batman's face was there, <laughs> in there. And then, yeah, this shot, I mean, it was just, I didn't know if it would work or not, but when you put it all together, it looked pretty cool. But I yeah. usually I, I shoot stuff in, in the vault using the vault camera, but this one actually did in AR. And just, it was great. Oh, wow. Really fun. Yeah, this was, this was oh, me okay. just blowing it all up in my lounge and just getting down on my knees and zooming in and out so, so you've I taken can... sorry to interrupt you so you've taken because i i've never really done much ar stuff um yeah. when true tech junkie does it he films yeah. it in ar but have you actually taken the collectibles out of the vault in ar 
So did you have the lines and stuff, or am I just making this more? No, no. I it was it was um, yeah. The lines were gone, so it was wow. You know, I don't know what you call it. It's when you put it in AR. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. But I then, think, you, wow. How did you place them? Tell us more. Well, I I don't know. I placed them in the VR. Should we call it? Right. So you uh, okay? So you yeah. use the lines and then you move yes. them out. Right, 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 right. I placed it in the showroom and then I projected it or whatever you call it. I what don't you, know. And then work. I started, yeah, moving around and shooting it. And I wanted a kind of handheld feel to it to, to get that uh, energy, I suppose. Awesome. Um, it didn't, I didn't want smooth shots with this. I wanted it to be nah, nah. erratic and yeah, horrible. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, so, yeah. Was. All right. So that, that was, it was really good fun. It was, it was like making a movie. Um, it just you didn't have to tell the actors what to do because you that you could put them where you wanted them, which was <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. Was I can't, I can't imagine way. Christian Bale being uh, too happy about this. He would have gone on one of his legendary rants. So you're a nice guy, but I'm not <laughs> getting in front of that. I think, yeah. yeah, he he would have said something like that possibly. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. It was really fun to make. And then, yeah, so, was, and you've got. You, am I right in thinking you got the pride poster behind? Yeah. Um, which I don't have anymore, um, peace. but I did use that at the time, and that that was good. That gave a lot of like mm. throbbing light. Yeah, yeah. So awesome. to speak. Cool. I'll carry on. Yeah. This is that bit. So we'll get to that. I'm assuming that's Finn going back to what we said earlier about. Yeah. Been being really happy in shots. I'm assuming he's absolutely cacking his pants here. Mate. Yeah. Um, but I remember when again when you sent me this and uh you're you're an 80s baby, right? I'm 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 well, I'm an 80s. I am. And so I remember growing up watching Point Break. Oh uh, yeah. And there's a scene between Keanu Reeves and I believe his name's Brody or so or some Brad, some yeah, yeah. Guy. Uh, they have their fight, and yeah, this reminded me of exactly that because he's pushing his head down to um, Lorma. Well, we call it Lorma, don't know what you yes. call it, guys. Uh, and yeah, this just reminded me of that, and it just works so perfect. And what what was the 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 music you used? Oh yeah, so there's a there's a good story. So this is actually a rejected score for The Exorcist um so the guy i can't remember his name but i will put a link to it underneath because it is the most terrifying piece of music i think i've ever heard and he it was used for a trailer um for the exorcist but it the people the warner brothers hated it they just said it was too scary it was just horrible so there's two different versions of the story behind the music there's the composer who claims he was just mistreated and freaking apparently lobbed the cassettes of his music into a car park and then Freakins just said, no, that's not true. I definitely believe the composer because Freakins is psycho. Um, <laughs> a genius, but yeah. crazy. But yeah, it, that, that's the piece of music. It's very cool. Awesome. Yeah. And it just goes wild. Shall I carry on? Yeah, do it, man. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, what, I like now, what I like here, so <laughs> there you go. Because I, um, I know you sent these to me yesterday, but I'm not gonna lie, I didn't, didn't watch this yesterday. I've obviously seen it loads of times, but I forgot that it is it's the same score all the way through. So now, so now you've moved on to the to the second scene. Yeah. Um, yeah, which which is great. We'll, we'll go through it, but then you're obviously gonna have to uh, explain to the audience uh, yeah. what what this is kind of inspired by. Well, do you know what it's inspired by? I know you told me. Yeah, it's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So this is um, a scene towards the end of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And um, it's a it's a dinner scene where it's horrible. <laughs> it's really <laughs> horrible. Where the, the heroine is basically being held hostage by the psycho family. But there's all these really like extreme close-ups. One in particular on her eye, which is a, a very oh, wow. famous one. And so you your, your little attention to detail and Easter eggs is, is amazing. I'm kind of annoyed because, I, again, I think we might have spoken about this, but the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is one of them films, like the, the original, yeah. that I've seen once. Mm. I watched it on my own when I was maybe uh, early 20s. I'd heard about it, watched it on my own, and then after yeah. that, 
it was like the uh well there's many memes and gifs but i was like nope nope no no hell no like i'm not, I'm not watching that again um and yeah. i always talk to my friend about it um and there's a scene i even yeah anyway there's a scene where Leatherface, and I'm sorry, we're kind of diverting talking on the movies now. Nice. He opens the door, pulls the girl, brings her in, slams yeah. the door. That is horrifying. It is absolutely horrifying. It's an incredible use of sound, isn't it? It's that it comes out of nowhere, and you just get that like sliding <laughs> and then come <laughs> and silence. Yeah. And it's oh, it's it's horrific. And it's it's a, such a scary film. Yeah, I might give it. I think I'm going to give it another go. I'm you definitely it. should. I yeah. think you you know you appreciate. Just so I can go. Oh oh yeah. Like, Falcon did that. Yeah. Boy spin. So this shot <laughs> is very, is uh, is a homage to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Love it. Um, but then, well, obviously it gets worse. So yeah, yeah. we'll carry on. <laughs> Um, oh, when I'll just go back to the shot. Yeah. So oh, with the with oh, the music, because it feels like you, are you because you it feels like you're doing that in in beats of the music. It's, you're not really editing it there, are you? Is that you're doing it? Have you got the music on your headphones in real time? Like how are you? No, I I put I I cut this all together in iMovie. Oh okay, oh, okay. Yeah, so. I did um I did edit it to the music, so I. I would extend shots and the good thing about this is it was it was so frantic that I could make some shots longer and some shots shorter and it it wouldn't really impact the the storytelling that much right. um so yeah I put it together in iMovie and yeah it, I think it, it it flowed quite well in the end yeah because it, it's like I say I didn't it didn't feel like you've edited that so you know very natural good uh, that's good and there's um well, yeah, the blood, as you know, I do enjoy the, mm. the pepperino, is it? Yeah. The blood and the Supergirl cape makes great blood as well. Mm. And, and the Superman. Sorry? And the Superman. And Superman. So, yeah, it was it was Ultraman's head, I think I just cut off before because I had Ultraman and I've got a few Ultramen. Mm. So I was able to have an arm and head and different body parts on the table. Amazing. Yeah, horrible, but you know. And then, so I, I knew, I knew the first two. I knew what they were going to be, um, but I wanted a, a third. And this one came together a bit more organically, I suppose, as I was playing around with it. Right. Um, this one, I, I created the scene in the showroom, and it was, yeah, it was exactly as, as you see it, really. And I was just able to move the camera around. So yes. going back yes. to the, the homage of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, yes. have they got some of these head that they're about to piece no. on? No, no, they just, don't you have added that. that. Okay. No, they, they, it's just it's really grim. She actually it's all about the old grandpa. And she, I'm not gonna go into it. Yeah. Okay. If you haven't seen it, you should. Okay, um no, but yeah. yeah, for this I thought I needed something a bit more shocking on the table. Yeah. So right. Ultraman's head. And then right. I think I'm trying to think. I'm sure I had a different idea for the last one. I think it, it might have been The Exorcist because I did do a picture, a sort of moving picture where there was a girl in a bed right. um, with with people and, and it was going to be that. But then I and then I thought, I think we just watched Jaws. So it's like, oh, yeah, Jaws. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> So yeah, just to say that I wanted it to start by being quite nice. So yeah. Yeah. But the problem being is because the music is so is so horrendous. Because yeah. I remember watching this and going, this bit kind of threw me off, and I was just like, I mean, this this looks nice, but I'm still absolutely bricking it. So yeah, that's good. Yeah. You know, it's not going to end well. <laughs> So that that's great because you you've used two Jaws posters uh, really really well. Like um, obviously that second one was released as the Comic Con yeah. secret drop for all you VV heads out there. And this, um, that came yeah. out 
when I'd finished this, I was oh. done with it. And then I was going to put it out there. But I think, I think you might have said, someone said, oh, I bet he's going to use that poster for something. Yeah, yeah, it would have been. And I thought, okay, well, yeah. I will. Well, Taylor said it, so you know, yeah. let's do it. That's it. And now she's gone. But where is she gone? Where is she gone? But let's find out. Let me, I'll just pause there. Yeah, and that's amazing. It. And and is that um? Have you used a Nessie? Mm -hmm. He's in Slimer. Oh, that's brilliant. So that like effect. Opens, yes, that's that's Slimer. Yeah, and do you know what about Slimer? When when he first came out, we were, I think everybody was using that because it was. I think it was one of the first. It wasn't an animated collectible, but it yeah. was still and um, and i kind of forgot about it and um and then yeah yesterday i'm not, not not to make this about me but um i've used it again and i'm like i forgot how great it is to use yeah, it. yeah. shout out to slimer and trevor uh, shout, shout out to slimer yeah. big up slimer um yeah and i did that i did actually do i did go through the poster in ar as well so he was behind that poster uh so that, no. that's a that's oh, wow. not a cut. that is not a cut that's a, ge a genuine move actually See, i reversed it so i started on her head and then i went backwards through the poster that's quality because yeah some of them oh because you're doing this in ar so in ar you can do that right yeah but even if you're not doing it in ar there are some posters you can do it with a few i can't, I can't remember off the top of my head but um yeah because that works so great for filming wink wink vv trevor you know if you let us go through the posters that'd be amazing um yeah 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 awesome bro like that that's definitely <laughs> again i remember i remember saying to you i'm like oh man this is really really fucking good <laughs> and now i've uh i need to up my game because this was just before i was finishing my little hello v yeah vv but uh hello no, VV. I i don't think you do but um yeah thank you i loved it, it was... man okay so that's the end of part one uh that's uh, we will continue with part two another time look at another it's a two-parter part. you lucky devils you yeah it's just too much content it's too much that's it mate we don't want to yeah we don't want to you know no. all right i'll see i'll see you later see you later mate all right bye, bye. bye.